Morning, boys. Morning, boss. Well, that's quite enough chit-chat. I'm sure you'd both like me to brief you on your new mission. There's been a case of severe violence at a local bus stop. <gasps> that's terrible! And it was near here? What if it was us? What if we were attacked and we were dead right now? People might be attending our funerals. What if our funerals are on the same day? Would my friends all come to mine or would they betray me and go to yours? Because I'm dead, but then maybe I can haunt them. I wonder how that works, if you can choose Breathe, if you want to Agent them. Nine. Breathe. As I was saying, there were several innocent civilians hit by a crazy man with the cricket bat early this morning. What's the damage? Several innocent citizens received minor bruising to the face. Damn it! Anyway, we have two suspects. One is still here in the city, and the other has already fled the city, received facial reconstruction surgery, moved to Russia, changed his name, thereby making themselves untraceable. Let's hope it's the first one. What's their name? Peter. Travnoski. Actually, I don't think that's how you say it. I think it's pronounced Peter Travnoski. Anyway, we don't yet know where this man lives, but we don't know his location right now, since the uh, cricket bat he used as a weapon happens to have a tracking device on it. Be careful out there, agents. Good luck. Luck? We don't need luck. Agents, how are you progressing? Good thing. How about you? Oh, I'm great actually. I was thinking about last night because I slept for eight hours, but I usually sleep for seven and a half hours, and I've been wondering whether that means We're that... We're the location now. That's good to hear. Your outfits are going to make you stand out in this environment, agents. Try to blend in. Blend in? How? Oh, I don't know. Make friends? Huh. Good thinking, Agent 9. Let's split up. Split up? But this is so sudden. Oh, right. Split up. Cover greater footage. Distance. Save time. Time is money. Good idea. Nice ball. Oh, thanks, bro. Nothing. Honestly, are these the best agents we've got? They're the best we can manage right now. All our other agents are stranded in Peru. But how can they all be in Peru? Mm, no. Don't but ask. if they're all gone, mm, then why? No. Just go with them. Just, just, just go. But then they come and put in the stove. But I'd already put it in the microwave instead. So I had to unplug the whole microwave and put it in the stove. Which turned out to be a Agent 87? Have we caught our suspect yet? No. Who are you talking to? No one. No, I turn on. You know. Where was I? Oh, right. So then the whole thing started frothing some weird liquid and everyone was freaking out. Which I didn't get because I thought it was perfectly normal. Hey, you. Hey, that shirt. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Um, uh, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't. What's the big deal? What? Come on, so don't play games with me. Uh, it, what it, did you have um, for breakfast? It must this have morning? been. Um, uh, you don't even know. You're not who you say you are. Eggs, eggs on toast. Better. Sorry about that, mate. See, I'm in an intelligence agency, and we're looking for a very dangerous individual. Um. Okay. Boy, seven, we've got a live one.
What the hell was that? Little technique I learned from the army. You're too young to be in the Oi. army. Save up for the third buster. Like on the ground. Get on the ground. Right. This is a psychic that links you on Apex handcuff. Move 10 feet away from me. Bang. Hey, that's my hanger chair. Be back. Right. This is a psychic link. Neuron apex handkerchief. Move 10 feet away from me. Bang. I'm not saying anything till I get a lawyer. Yeah, well, I've been constipated for three days, buddy. We all don't get what we want. Where'd you get these cones? Oh, they were just sitting on the road by that cliff over there. How weird is that? Well done, agents. We've captured the suspect. Now it's up to you to find out what he knows. What does he know? That's what we're finding out. Good cop, bad cop? Yeah! Vamos a destroyer a cemento. Si. Uh, piazza por Piazza. Si. Uh, quella carta uh, esto Venecia. You know I don't speak Spanish. No, neither do I. That's good. Hey there, mate. Everything okay? Anything I can get you? Sorry about that earlier, you know, it's just this job. We tough sometimes. Anyway, let's have a little chat, yeah? Why did you do it, mate? I mean, why'd you bash a bunch of innocents with a crook about? I mean, you seem like a nice guy. You don't mind me saying. I like that shirt. I mean, I really like that shirt. I'm jealous. I'm jealous that I get to hug you all day. Wait, hey, no, 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 the other way around. I'm jealous that the shirt gets to... You hug the... The shirt. Oh, well. Alright, you leave me no choice, mate. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to leave the room and let my colleague deal with you. I warn you. He's mental. Warm him up here. What? No, ah, just kidding. Oh man, you should have seen your face. I came in all serious, and you were like, "Oh, it's about to hit the fan." Ah. Well, I thought it was funny. So anyway, man, how's it going? What's what's hang a langin'? What's crack a lackin'? What's knuckle rockin'? Ding a dongin'? I don't have any more of those. Yo. Know, you remind me of me. So confident and suave. And quiet. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty quiet too. Whoa! What the chair? Woof. Close one. Oh. Sorry, it's a bit. Ugh. Like a chair, you know. So, nothing to say? I didn't want it to be this way, but I'm gonna have to let my angry little friend back in here. Unless you wanna say anything to me. No? You leave me with no choice! Sorry about him, that wasn't very nice, was it? It's okay, it's over now. I don't wanna let him back in, but you're gonna have to just tell me the truth. You're gonna have to trust me. It's feeling a bit simmer in there, if you know what I mean. We need to break this guy. Let's pick it up, all right? Guess who brought cookies? Here you go. He must be having one happy day. Maybe we should hang out next weekend. Yeah, that'd be nice. You know, you're not really in the wrong here. You're the victim in all this. The system is corrupt. I don't know. Terrible thing catching you. I just try spending the rest of my life trying to bring you justice. You, you deserve some type of effort. Look, just be brave, man. All this madness will be over. It'll be over soon. Just be brave. Be brave just for me. Here, take my money. Take all of my money. It's nothing compared to the riches you rightfully deserve. So 
something's wrong here. Is it? He's just not cracking, isn't he? Now we need to change our tactics somehow. Do we? Yes. He's one tough nut. He's just not cracking. He's one crunchy peanut butter. You know, I think we need to go in together. Sure, it might be psychologically overwhelming, but but we're just that awesome, and sure he might he might die, but that's the chances and risks you have to take in this business. Juggling? No. Super secret, awesome agent work. Oh, yeah. He may suffer greatly, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to take. Yeah. This is showing we're willing to put it all on the line to save society from scum like him. Yeah! We're the greatest agents in the world. Bloody hell yeah! Alright, that's enough. Don't swear, let's go. Code Indigo! Code Indigo! Code Indigo! Code Indigo? We've all been poisoned by moldy potato salad and the Prime Minister's invited us over for dinner? No, that's Code Echo. Code Indigo is Magdalene. Oh. Oh. You know it. <laughs> I haven't even answered my messages. I've sent you eight messages. What the hell are you doing in here that's so important? What's he got you doing this time? Only our diligent duty, Mrs. Miss. Yep, just doing our diligence. You two are almost as stupid as Hello? he- Hello? Hello? Is someone there? I'm being held against my will. This is illegal! I'm not even gonna ask. Look, I just came to make sure you know we're having dinner at the wharf tonight, and Grace expects you to be there. Also, I saw your ad in the paper asking for secret spies for intelligence. Real subtle. Anyway, I'm off. Why is everyone so young around here? Ah, never mind, I don't wanna know. You lot can get back to your games or whatever. Oh, it is. by the way. Uh, we found, uh, undisputable evidence that Peter is the criminal we're after. Yeah. New evidence? You remember how the, uh, the attacker's weapon, the cricket bat he used? Uh, you know how it had a tracking device on it? We don't yet know where this man lives, but we don't know his location right now, since the, uh, cricket bat he used as a weapon happens to have a tracking device on it. Be careful out there, agents. Four. Good luck. Luck. Four. We don't need. Four. 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 Yeah. Um, we remember. It was only a little while ago. Anyway, uh, Agent Nine has gone out to the park you found Peter in and uh, is going to retrieve the cricket bat. Hmm. We must have missed it somehow. Come on, Seven, we have work to do. As it turns out, the cricket bat had not only the victim's blood on it, but also Peter's name. Agent Nine is bringing the cricket bat into the agency as we speak. But we still don't know his motive. Or anything, no. Do we? Why would we want to know his motive? That's it, gentlemen! He done it! It's solved! Just another one in a long line, Agent Seven. We're so good. The best. But it wasn't actually you guys who discovered... Oh yeah, intelligence! Let's walk it off. <laughs> Some say that our attempts to bring peace to society are futile, pointless, that our petty attempts to bring peace will only make things worse. Even the police shake their heads at us, calling our efforts a danger to society. But the thing is, we don't care. We don't care what problems we cause. Our arrests are not citizen's arrests. They are actual arrests of the most dangerous individuals ever to be individual on the earth. We are agents of superior moral and intellectual prowess. We are the ultimate protectors of the earth. All we want is to fight for peace and order in this society of criminals and villains. So we'll go on fighting like like something really cool that fights in a cool way, like like intelligent bananas trained in karate. 
like ninja bananas. Intelligent ninja bananas. Hmm. I'm hungry. <laughs> Don't go any further. It'll help here, agents. Agent Zero? What are you doing? What, what am I doing? What do you think I'm doing? He's, it's him, he's bashing me with a cricket bat! Hmm. I'm just here to grab my helmet. Stay where you are! Don't move! Don't do anything! Do something! He just said do nothing! But well, you're gonna listen to him! He's, he's the criminal here! Listen to me! Can't you get one of your other agents to do it for you? No, they're in Peru. You're the only ones here, you've gotta... You've gotta do something, can't you see? I'm in a little bit of a predicament right now! Agent 7, Agent 4, we should do something. Righto, I'm going to throw you. What? I, I couldn't choose between the pepper spray and the taser because I thought the taser would be more effective, but then I wouldn't get to see him crawl around in pain like this because I thought the taser would just make him lie there and go limp like a roadkill squirrel. Although I have seen a roadkill squirrel and I've wriggled around quite a bit. So maybe I should have used a taser. Did I make the right decision? You did fine, Agent 9. Hey, that rhymed! Agent 4, Agent 7, despite your obvious clumsiness and complete lack of ability, you showed meager signs of courage today. <laughs> you okay? It's just, just a big moment. <laughs> a big moment. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, intelligence never rests. As a show of gratitude for your work for the intelligence agency today, we shall be rewarding you with your first weapon. We only have the one, so you'll have to share. Oh, well. Use it wisely. I want you to honor this weapon. This is great. This is amazing. Ow! 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 <laughs> okay. I'll have that back now. Inside my head, colors change from black to white, purple sky the other night. Am I alive or am I dying? Am I crawling or am I flying? Going back to my old life in the park, flying kite. Thank <laughs> you.